Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Welcome back. Let's continue with the section wise weightage. And in this particular module, we're going to see the weightage of the section of algebra. Now, these are the seven chapters which are there in the section of algebra. We have linear inequations, quadratic equations. Now, when I say quadratic equations, I mean quadratic equations, numerical questions, at the same time solving word problems based on quadratic equations. Then further we have ratio and proportion, we have remainder and factor theorem, we have matrices and finally we have AP and GP. You can expect around 10 questions from this particular section weighing 33 marks. Now that's a very huge weightage. Let's see normally till date what type of questions are asked from this particular section. Let's start with the first chapter that is linear inequation. You can expect one question of three marks where they will give you an inequation and ask you to solve it. Now there is one particular point I want all of you to focus on in these type of questions. At the end of the question, if you see, they will always mention, if you see the first question, they say x belongs to real numbers. And in the second question, they say x belongs to z. It means integers. Accordingly, my dear students, you have to write down the solution set. Now, they will normally ask you to show the solution set on the number line. It means you have to draw the number line. Now remember my dear students, to draw this particular number line, you always have to use pencil. You cannot draw it with pen, you will lose marks. So I hope this is clear to you. Let's move on further. If you see the next chapter here is quadratic equations. Now you can expect a question of four marks on quadratic equations. That is the numerical questions from quadratic equations. Now. Normally, they ask a question where you have to solve the quadratic equation with the help of formula method. Okay, so this is a typical question. Now, if you see here, they are saying, write down the answer correct to two decimal places. Now, this is very important information because accordingly, you have to present your final answer. Let us see one more question. In this particular question, if you observe here, they say, give the answer correct to two significant figures. Accordingly, you have to write down your final answer. You can also have a question based on the concept of equal roots. So if you see this particular question, they say there's a quadratic equation whose roots are equal. Based on that, you have to find out the value of an unknown that is m. So you can expect one such question of four marks. Let's move on. Let's go to solving problems based on quadratic equation. Again, you can expect a question of four marks you will have a word problem here so this is a sample word problem based on two natural numbers you can expect one such question or there is another typical question here where they say rupees 480 is equally divided among certain number of children so this is another type of typical question which comes in board exam question on numbers you can also have question on speed distance Time. So here is a typical question based on speed, distance, time. You can also have a word problem based on ages of persons. So these are the typical type of questions which are normally asked from solving problems based on quadratic equations. Let's move on to the next chapter that is ratio and proportion. One question of four marks. Now you can have a prove that type of question based on equal ratios that is numbers in proportion so if you see the question here they say x upon a equal to y upon b equal to z upon c and based on this information you have to prove this equation now you know we follow k method for this particular sum if you want to see the sum in details you can go to module number 19 or you can have a prove that type of question based on three numbers in continued proportion if you see this particular question they say x y z are in continued proportion based on that you have to prove the given equality so these are the typical questions which come from ratio and proportion there is one more type of question that can come in exam and that is they will give you an equation on x and this equation can be solved with the help of properties of proportion that is componendo dividendo so you can expect one such equation in your exam Next, we move on to remainder and factor theorem. This is a very simple chapter. One three mark question definitely from this chapter. Now, either the question will be of this first type 
where they give us certain factors of a polynomial and they ask us to find the values of some unknowns. So if you see there is a given polynomial here where there are two unknowns a and b in the polynomial. How to find those unknowns here? So they have given us information that x minus 2 and x plus 3 are the factors of this particular given polynomial. You have to use factor theorem to find these unknowns a and b. Or another very important type of question is they will give you a polynomial and ask you to factorize it completely. So factorize it completely means find all its possible factors. That is another important question. If you want to refer to its solution, you can go to module number 13. Let's move on further. The next chapter is matrices. Two questions of three marks each you can definitely get from matrices. Now, if you see this first question, you have to evaluate a square minus 5a plus 7i, where i is the identity matrix. Definitely to find this answer, you have to use the concept of multiplication of matrices. Very, very important concept, my dear students. At the same time, you have to use the concept of addition and subtraction of matrices, which is a very simple concept. You, this is another typical sum where they have told us to find the matrix B such that BA is equal to I, where I is an identity matrix. So this is another typical question based on the concept of multiplication of matrices. That brings us to the last two chapters that is arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Now, these are two new chapters. From these new chapters, you can expect around three questions. From these two chapters, you can expect three questions. Two questions can come from arithmetic progression. Now, what type of questions will come? So, my dear students, some very simple type of question based on the formula of Tn and Sn. So, if you see this particular first question, they say how many terms are there in this particular series, whereas the last term is 148, that is the value of Tn is given to you and n you have to find. So, this is based on Tn formula or they can give you a question based on Sn formula. So, if you see this particular question, they have given us sum of certain number of terms and from that you have to find out the value of A and D. So, that is based on Sn formula. Similar manner, you can have questions of geometric progression. One question from GP which can be based on Tn formula. So, if you see the sample first question here, they say find the fifth term that is it is based on Tn formula. And if you see the second sample question, they say how many terms should be added to get this desired sum that is 5, 4, 6, 1 is the given sum. So, it is based on Sn formula. So, these are the various type of questions that can come from the section of algebra weighing 33 marks, very important section. I hope you understood this. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests, and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.